in this episode we are going to solve two problems on integration so we have our problem a and problem b we are to integrate so from the a we have integral of one on sine x so we can plus cos x all square so we can bring our one in the middle like this so dx this problem can be stated the same way since the whole bracket is squared we can say this is equal to if we are to expand the brackets this is going to be like a plus b all square which is going to be a square plus 2ab plus b square so the same way we are going to have sine square x plus 2 sine x cos x plus cos square x this way dx are we okay now do we see this can be simplified as integral of 1 on we can still have sine square x plus cos square x and 2 sine x cos x are we okay from the identity we know that sine square x plus cos square x should be equal to what one are we okay all right so we can bring that inside our expression so this is the same as integral of one plus we have two sine x cos x dx so this is the same as what dx but then also we also have the identity which says that two sine x cos x is equal to what sine two x like this so the entire of two sine x cos s can be replaced by what sine two x so this expression is finally going to be one on one plus sine two x dx are we okay so now i want to integrate this this seems quite cumbersome so i'll try to simplify this by using the conjugate so i'll do one plus sine two x so multiplying the conjugate this is going to be the upper part let's multiply the upper part by 1 minus sine 2x and multiplying the lower part by 1 minus sine 2x dx are we okay so if we expand this this is going to be 1 minus sine 2x at the upper part and as we have this if we have a minus b multiplying a plus b that is the same as a square minus b square right okay so this two is going to give us one square minus sine square 2x this way which is the same as integral of one minus sine 2x on one minus sine 2 x square they are all with dx are we good so here what can we do we know that cos square 2x plus sine square 2x is equal to 1 so if we have this expression that means it is equal to what cos square 2x so this is equal to integral of 1 minus sine 2x on cos square 2x dx it is very simple so here this can be simplified as integral 1 on cos square 2x minus we also have sine 2x on cos square 2x or dx is that it so now let's bring in our identities and our 
understanding of trade here. So we know that one on cos x is going to be one sec x. Are we good? And meaning if we have one on cos squared two x minus sine two x on cos squared two x dx. One on cos x is that, meaning one on cos square x is going to be integral of what? Sec square 2x minus. Now, at this point, I can simplify this part as this can be the same as one on cos x or cos 2x multiplying sine 2x on cos 2x like this dx such that if you multiply through you are going to get cos squared 2x so this is the same as sec squared 2x minus now 1 on cos 2x that is going to be what sec x or sec 2x right and we also know that sine x on cos x is going to be tan x so here that is going to be multiplying tan 2x everything on what dx are we good all right so we have the integral of this expression and we know that the integral of sec squared 2x or sec squared x is tan x but here we are doing integration with 2x so we will have to divide the tan x which is tan 2x by 2 and also we are going to look at the integral of this expression is also coming from sec x or sec 2x because if we differentiate sec x we are going to get sec x tan 1 x that is going to be minus since it is integration by 2 sec 2x plus 1. C, are we good? So therefore, the final integration for this expression is going to be 1 on 2 tan 2x minus 1 on 2 sec 2x plus C. Are we okay? And this will be our expression. Now the B part. Let's solve the B part here. The B part says we should find the integral of 1 on 7 minus 6x minus x squared. Now what we can do is that we have to, this is a quadratic expression. So let's express it in its simplest form. This is going to be 1 on, if we express it, this is going to be 7 plus x and 1 minus x dx are we good so this is the same as if we are going to express the partial fractions the a part is going to be on 7 plus x plus the b part is going to be on the 1 minus x or dx let's use partial fractions to solve this part and find the value of a and b so using partial fractions we are going to say 1 is equal to now the a is going to take the 1 minus x plus the b is going to take 7 plus x are we good if we say the value of x is equal to 1 therefore here is going to be 1 this is going to be 1 which is going to make our 1 to be equal to 8b which in we will be equal to 1 on what? 8. The same way if we say our x is equal to negative 7. Therefore, here is going to be what? Negative 7. This is going to be negative 7. So negative, negative. That is going to give us 1 is equal to 8a plus 0, 
for the B part. Therefore, our A is going to be 1 on 8. So bringing it to this expression, we are going to have integral of the A is 1 on 8 on 7 plus X plus B is 1 on 8, 1 minus X or what? The X. So we can factorize the 1 on 8 out as 1 on 8 integral of 1 on 7x plus 1 on 1 minus x this way. Now when we look at these expressions, we have 1 minus 8 integral of 1 on 7 plus x. If we differentiate the down part, we are getting 1, right? That's on top. So that is going to be what? The natural log of what? 7x or 7 plus x. 7 plus x this way. Now, when we look at here, when we differentiate this part, we are going to get negative 1. But the part on top is what? Positive. So we have to introduce a negative 1 on 8, ln of 1 minus x this way, plus our c. So the final answer, we can factorize the 1 on 8 out, leaving ln of 7 plus x, and we have minus ln of 1 minus x plus c as our final answer. So... This is the expression for the problem. Thank you for watching this episode. Please subscribe to the channel and see you in the next episode.